Oh, hello there. Hello. Firstly, allow me to apologise. I haven't put a video up in a while. And today, I shouldn't hold it there, should I? <laughs> shouldn't hold it. I'll, I'll hold it up. You know. Uh, today, I thought I'd do a video because I've got a bit of time to talk to you guys. And it's about a story I've seen in the news. You might remember, the end of summer last year, I'm doing it again, the end of summer last year, the, um, the false widow hit the news and the, the media milked the story for all it could. Um, well, I did a video about that and I basically came to the conclusion that, you know, they've been here for years and we shouldn't worry about them. Well, I'm here to talk about the Brazilian wandering spider. You may have seen the stories. Uh, for those of you who haven't, it was a family, they went to their local supermarket and bought a bunch of bananas. And they took their bananas home, um, where the mother thought, I'm going to enjoy one of these bananas. So, what she did, she went and saw the banana had a white patch on and she thought, oh, they're mouldy, got to chuck them out. So she went to chuck them out, she found this nest. The white patch was a nest of spiders which are assumed to be, they weren't, from what I've been reading, they weren't officially identified as, but they've been assumed to be Brazilian wandering spiders. So they called the powers that be, the local authorities, and said, we've got an infestation, infestation. And the authorities said, sorry, you've got to evacuate your house. We're sending in the pest control. So uh, yeah, that's what happened. And the pest control went in and eradicated the problem. Um, I'll put it down for now. I haven't finished it. So yeah, Brazilian wandering spiders, what are they? Where are they from? What are they after? Well, my hair's doing my head in. Um, Brazilian wandering spiders, the clue's in the name, they're from Brazil. But also in other, you can find them in other South American countries, such as Costa Rica or Argentina. Um, yeah, so if you go into South America, there's a chance you could bump into a Brazilian wandering spider. Also in the name you may have noticed is wandering, and this is because they don't like to build their web, or they don't like to burrow as such, they like to, they like to walk. They're the hikers of the arachnid world. They wander along the uh, forest floor, searching for small insects as prey, for their breakfast, lunch, and tea, three times a day. Well, not, no, they don't really follow a schedule. Ignore me there. Um, but yeah, that's what they, they eat, is small insects. How big are they? They're around five inches in leg span, which in the UK you might think that's massive, but if you consider that the biggest spiders can get to about 12 inches, they're not that big. Um, they're probably about average. Um, that's what they keep telling themselves anyway. Um, and yeah, they are quite venomous. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. Guinness Book of Records holds them as the most venomous spider in the world. And, um, yeah, there have been 7,000, from what I've read, 7,000 reported cases of a bite from a Brazilian wandering spider. And in those 7,000, the death tally is so far at 10. Now, obviously, we'd like to say zero, but um, it's a small percentage, really, if you consider the 7,000. What does a bite do? If you were to be bitten by one, or if I were to be bitten by one, what could happen? Well, I'll tell you what could happen. The bite would, you would experience severe pain, uh, perhaps, um, and maybe inflammation. You would perhaps suffer loss of muscle control, um, breathing problems, uh, eventual asphyxiation, which would lead to death. And if you're a man, it has another peculiar effect on your down belows, your, you know, all and mighties, or whatever you want to call them. Um, yeah, it gives you an erection. An erection which isn't that comfortable. It can last for a few hours. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. Although scientists are using the venom into research for erectile dysfunction, into things like Viagra and stuff like that, but obviously in small doses. We don't want huge erections for days on end. I never thought I'd say that in a video, ever. Um, but yeah, this is one of the effects. Um, what happens? What happens? That's that covered. Um, of when they bite, when they bite. Let's talk about this. 
the species that they are, are they, they do administer things that are known as dry bites, which is they don't give any venom. They don't put any venom into the person. So if you want to play, I don't know, tag or something like that, and you start poking them about, you know, if you start poking them, they're not going to like it. So what they'll do is they'll administer a dry bite, which is kind of like, leave me alone, leave me alone, I don't want to play your games, I was just, leave me, I was just out to get some breakfast. I want my breakfast, so go away. Carry on poking them, they're going to poke you back with their teeth. So uh, that's what they're doing. They're like, leave me alone, get out. Um, and in about two thirds of cases, it will be a dry bite. So I've, I've heard, or read. Um, one third of cases, they will administer venom, and it's not always a lethal amount. It is quite hit and miss. Um, in fact, a recent study showed that only about 2.3% of bites were serious enough to require an anti-venom. And in those cases, most of them were for children. So obviously smaller people, the venom is going to have a bigger effect. So yeah, um, they, they are dangerous if you do get bitten, which is highly unlikely in the UK, because like I say, we don't have them here, unless you bring them in into your house in a bunch of bananas or other fruit. Uh, if you do get bitten, I would advise calling the hospital uh, or going straight to the hospital and saying, I've been bitten by this spider. Uh, because it can be dangerous, it can be deadly, uh, although unlikely. Um, yeah, what happens if you do find, if you do buy a bunch of bananas and you find one? Well, I think the family in the, in the news story did exactly the right thing. Uh, get the problem solved. You don't these spiders. You don't want to catch and put out. Uh, they're not native to this country. Uh, I don't think they would survive our climate, to be honest. But who knows? Um, you want to get them dealt with. It, it pains me a little bit to say we need to kill spiders, but here you don't want them. Um, if you can trap it, even better. Safely. If you can trap it safely, even better. You know. Glass. Don't. I don't mean glass it. I mean just get a glass and pop it over the top if you've got one big enough. Obviously, five inches is quite big. Book it. Book it. Get a bucket over it and say it's in there. Because obviously, if you lose it, you, you're then wondering, well, where's the wandering spider gone? Um, so yeah, um, the family in the news story did it exactly right. Call your local authorities. They will solve the problem for you. Um, and that's about it, you know. So Brazilian wandering spiders aren't that scary. They are, they have the potential to be deadly, um, but in most cases they're not. They are quite aggressive, but again, they're not in the UK unless they come over in these things, which is very rare. And um, Yeah, just if you do see one, don't go poking around with it. You know, we always see them. If you look on YouTube or if you look on pictures on, on the internet, you will always see them in the threat posture. Their hands in the air, or their front legs. They don't have hands. Their front legs in the air, showing their fangs off. That's their threat posture. It doesn't work for humans. I try it and I just get laughed at. It's like I'm taking an invisible throw in in football or something. Um, but yeah, the... the this is this makes them look scarier. Um, they're not that bad. So what I'm saying is basically, don't worry. They're not over here unless they're in your bananas, and then the problem tends to be solved, and you get a, a decent amount of money compensation out of your local supermarket. So enjoy your banana, and uh, yeah, chill. Brazilian wandering spiders really ain't that bad. Until next time. See ya. Have a good one.